1999 was a fun year. I graduated from high school. 1999. I, I, it's easy for me because I... You turned 40? Um, I turned 40 in 1999. That's correct. Um, no, I, uh, I, I was just going into ninth grade. So that's how I... You know, in 88, I was going into eighth grade. You know, it works out like that. Wait, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. That's... No, I, grad, I, was, I graduated high school in 99. Yeah? Yeah. You must have graduated in '95. No, no, no. I graduated in uh, in '93. From, high, I, I from high school, '93. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was seventeen. You graduated in 1993. So did like everybody like listen to Guns and Roses? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they did. <laughs> use yeah, your everyone illusion. listened to Guns and Roses. Actually, lose, use your illusion too. Was <laughs> the one from that year. I remember. Yep, like Vince was going to get lots of Guns N' Roses, man. Was that the year the Spaghetti Incident came out? Uh, I don't know. I, I think Use Your Illusion, maybe or something. Two. What? It was it two? two? Yeah, there was two of them. Yeah, because right. so they were so much genius that yeah, you know, they had to. Take Axl Rose was on a tear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and Matt Sorum was with them then, I guess. Yeah. Yep. Um. Yeah, what was it? Guns N' Roses, and that—that that was Nirvana. Just came out, so it was mm-hmm. like Guns N' Roses kind of like weathered the storm of the grunge rock movement, you know. But like other bands didn't really do that too. No, much. I was just saying, like, like if you had like a high school reunion, what would they play? Probably Guns N' Roses. Yeah. What song? November Rain. November Rain. If my high school had a <laughs> senior class reunion, there would be 311 for sure. 311. Yeah, that sounds about right. Or lit. Yeah. Like yeah. homebrew. Yeah. Home. What was it? What? Whoa, homebrew is the grass color roots. of your energy. That music. What was it music that came first or grassroots? I don't know. How do you grass, know that? Grassroots. What? Because I, dude, 311 is pretty pretty good man i like those guys <laughs> you like them yeah you that's like good. them that's good that oh you yeah like you them. you don't like them i, I forgot uh, what what is it about 311 i i know we're cle we're trying to talk about cleveland but, but they pass through here yeah you know uh, what though times, so. like at my high school reunion <laughs> they would play some 30 fucking lincoln because it's a local oh, cleveland oh, yeah. punk band <laughs> All right 30 lincoln. it's a fucking cleveland <laughs> town i remember them yeah 30 lincoln i think i'm in love with leslie you cocksucker <laughs> Um, okay. Uh, well, 311 to me, yeah, I, it, it was, it, it's just, it's like a homogenized funk. Like they're really trying to to make well, that sure. funk thing happen well, and, and bring they, together the ska and the reggae thing. And it's all right, but I mean, and it I think they can get away with it. And they, you know, that's why they brag about they're from like, what, Nebraska or something. And it's like, like that. but so. that, that bass player, although his chops are amazing. It's the, like, the whole band you know, is really talented, and you know I, the drummer's all right. Sure, if they were if they were actually like from like blowing. Jamaica or something, they probably would. That they'd but they're suck. also one of those bands that like <laughs> they're also one of those bands get away themselves that are like not that not the most amazing musicians ever. But I think they they're were, like they're like when people who aren't musicians will look at them and go, "Dude, man, holy shit, those guys are amazing, dude." Well, I think, like, yeah, like Grassroots, the, the musicianship I thought was pretty good. I, and the songwriting was, you know, it wasn't as, um, like, they got a, a lot more poppy as they went on. I mean, but but I, like, I, I thought it was interesting that they did heavy music, but it was like a positive spin. I like what uh, Steve said earlier about what heavy metal is. Oh, the WWE of music? That's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. A lot of times metal songs sound like they, they have that, like, intro or there, there should be some gigantic man walking right. down an aisle who can just destroy any person in his but path like what's a, what's a band like 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 a band that fits that perfectly uh, like shine down right like Ooh, that yeah, yeah they down, or yeah. five yeah, finger they, death fa- punch. five finger death punch like if you go to like their <laughs> concert like there's like 70 tattoo artists yeah like ready I, to tattoo this you this is weird dude, at the mean, concert because like and i feel like all they do is like sort of string together Common phrases like what's Shine Down's biggest hit? I'm looking down the barrel of a 45. 45. Is that their biggest hit? Uh, yeah. 
that was their first I one. I think. The only one I know. No, another shine. Yeah, it's the only one I know. I, see, one exactly. I, know. I don't. I don't really so, listen yeah, to shine. Like, I tell you what, though. Like, the, the, I think that guy's voice is real powerful. Yeah. And then I remember one time I was I, closing up shooters. Should I sound like that? Is that what you're saying? Is no, that, no. Should I? Could I no, do that? Don't. Well, not. It's that's him. Man, you you got to sing the way you got to sing. You know what well, I mean? Don't I can sing do like that. Other people. I can do that nonsense. Don't ever be anything but yourself. But like, I'm. We're coming down the road. We're coming down to Collision Bend. Yeah, and Collision Bend is right where that where you can kind of catch the uh, Tower City Amphitheater. You yeah, can catch yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. And um, oh, the man, the whole fucking everybody who was on the road stopped. The road stopped, man. <laughs> like really, they like made a traffic jam. People got out of their cars just to hear those guys. What guys? Shine down. They were playing Tower City Amphitheater, and there were people stopping their cars. Like, what is that? Like, <laughs> really. You could really fucking hear them, and they really sounded great. So, you know. Oh, no. No, don't get me wrong. Like, I think that, that they probably put on a good show. Yeah. You know, like, even, like, tons of uh, artists that I don't like, I believe, put on an excellent show. You know, but... Shine down still kind of hilarious. Though. Gentlemen, just so you know, because I'm the only one in the group yeah. dumb enough to subscribe to this page, we're live right now. Thanks, hey, Vince. No, we're not. Says we're live. We're not live right now. Huh? We're not. <laughs> no, I accidentally hit the stream live. Oh, it's offline. Okay. And then it was like for a second. I was like, oh, crap. I wanted to do the record one because I can't seem to figure out how to get the audio and the to sync up the sync up with that I yeah so <laughs> so everything's recorded and just in case anyone says anything you know triggering or something i guess right i don't want to trigger anybody <laughs> i mean i uh says the guy <laughs> so Who i triggers. i thought it'd be interesting if we talked about like what are some current local bands that you guys have been digging heart attack man they're fucking great yeah yeah what do they like um boy what do they like uh high energy yeah poppy you know real hooky stuff you know what i mean like uh it kind of reminds me of like you know if like rivers in the gang were 20 years old again and this was their era yeah you know what i mean like that's what they sound like they nice you know i'm not saying they sound like weezer i'm saying you know like it's that same vein though you know but it's fresh because they're so goddamn fresh I, right i i, I what, what are 20s they, what are or something? these younger guys older guys what younger dudes yeah yeah they're like they're they practice right across from us oh oh yeah 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 Yeah, they're really yeah, they're really nice. talented yeah 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 like you know they Got a lot of heat, but they 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 work it, man. They work their social networking, right? They, they work their Twitter stream. You know what I mean? They're well, that's that we should say that we're, we play in a band. I don't know if we've mentioned this. I was, this I, at was all. I was just and, about uh, to. Yeah, and um, we play play at uh, Rock and Roll City Studios, which there's a lot of different bands. Um, I was going to say my favorite local band right now is the Battle for West Park. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, that's they're not getting fair. ready to I'm put out a seven yourself. song EP. You can't pick yourself, man. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, I, I would like to amend my answer to the battle for West Park only because I think their lead singer is dreamy and a great American. Yeah, they just look like a they look like four stallions up there. Four unicorns flying yeah. to the moon. I would even say four strutting cocks. Quattro. Can you say can we say Cox? Wait, who's going to stop us? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're talking about, you know, male chickens. There are a lot of great, uh, there's a lot of great local talent out there. Um, there's a girl that I work with at Chocolate Bar, and she's uh, apparently already has a mu music video out. She's jamming at, like, Brothers Lounge and stuff and trying to get a band together. Yeah. Um, there's, you know, every time I Is work. Is she easy on the eye? Probably. More than you know, yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> usually the case. Yeah, that that usually Spot helps on. with yeah. the performance thing. Yeah. She, yeah. I'm not the most attractive guy in the world, but I do bring a lot of. She'll I'm, like half the staff that I work with at Chocolate Bar. You take that girl into any public place, people are gonna be staring. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, yeah. But okay, so here's the next question: 
Can she sing? I haven't heard it yet. Yeah. <laughs> does it matter? No, I mean, no, it does. It does definitely matter. It definitely matters. To <laughs> so me, it matters. It matters if you look like Adele. Sorry. I'm going to trigger somebody. Yeah, Adele, that's Adele's, a trigger thing. Adele's incredible. <laughs> I don't know who that is. The reality is. Adele? Yeah. Hello. She's beautiful. Oh, she's she a, does that? Yeah. She's yeah. A, oh, okay. She's a phenomenal singer. <laughs> she's a little, you know, she's off dig, you know what I mean? But gorgeous. And no, she's no, from uh, Lakewood. She's from. <laughs> Oh, I see what we're doing here. Okay. Yeah, local. <laughs> yeah, it's going local. Um, uh, there's uh, how about how about that band Axioma? Axioma's great, dude. I, love I think they're like the super power. Are Cougar in their band still? Cougar is that band? Oh uh, yeah, it's Cougar, Cougar, uh, Aaron, John Vincent, and Aaron, and uh, Justin, and Justin. Okay. Yeah. Which I don't know, Justin. I mean, forgive me, he's a great guy, but I don't know if he was in a like all. It's like the super group, like it and it. it what? It, hey, Justin may have come from another band, but uh, super group and Justin. It's like yeah, the super group and Justin, right? The Cleveland super group, I think. Yeah, Axioma. They're great, mm-hmm. man. Interesting, you know. I didn't think like I was into that style of music until I heard them. And I'm like, oh yeah, I kind of like that. It's cool. <laughs> I don't know. I'm. I don't think I've ever heard them yet. Yeah, it's like uh, a lot of blast beats. Mm. Okay. Um, real, uh, but it's like it's almost taking like blast beats to a atmospheric level. Mm. Okay. You know, yeah. It's cool. It's cool. It sounds cool. Yeah, and then Aaron sings and plays bass. I mean, and he, everything he's done. I mean, Keel Hall. Talk Love about Keel great, Hall. great. Love some Keel Hall. That's a good <laughs> They've been around for well, they were around a long time. Man. Keel Hall makes you want to drive fast. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, no, that and then, they really they, do. Yeah, they they kind of remind me of, of like the what was the um, what was the uh, um, Karma to Burn, all mm-hmm. instrumental band. That's oh, just Karma to Burn. Yeah, it's yeah, just some that name. really riff rock. You know, awesome stuff, man. I like this this episode where we're talking about how old we fucking are. Is that what we're doing? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hey everybody, old in Cleveland. Hey, How are ya? It's, hey, it's, you guys remember Martha Dump Truck? That was oh great. Oh hell band. yeah, love those guys. <laughs> I don't know sure. who that is. Never. I what about, no, I mean we could go. How about uh, Eric Carmen? Oh, I'm, uh, yeah. Eric Carmen. <laughs> Eric Carmen came into the, no, the Ritz Carlton <laughs> when I worked there. Raspberries. Raspberries. That's right. <laughs> he came so to the Ritz Carlton. He comes in the. He goes to the Ritz Carlton. Yeah. Yeah. You haven't met him yet. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Do, does anyone know that where I work? Oh, <laughs> Oh, shoot. My bad. <laughs> don't want to be. No, um, no, I have not seen him. I've seen some other people, though. Well, it's Ritz Carlton. You know, he, he, when I saw him, he had rings on all good. of his fingers, like, yeah. <laughs> blinging out. <laughs> yeah, this is, the thing that was yeah. funny is that, like, yeah, like his chest, his, like, chest, his shirt was open, and yeah. he had, like, multiple necklaces on. All in black. <laughs> All like fingers a, covered with like rings. Like a Greek restaurant. Manager. Yeah, and the quaff to this hair and everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no joke. And he looked real young. It was a. It was in. It was in O two. In O two, he was yeah. at the in Cleveland. How about uh, How about Michael Stanley? What do you guys think about that guy? He yeah. was friends with my ex ex ex. He's ex, cool. Ex, 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 yeah. He's a cool guy. Ex girlfriend's parents. Never trust a man who presses his jeans. Yep. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah, that's it. That's I how you gauge. No, I, I don't know funny. anything about him. Really. That's how you gauge people. It's not their shit personality. It's their it's their creased pants. Like right? I met him one time. I think he's a radio DJ here, right? And yeah, and he had some town. Michael song. Stanley. Yeah, and he had a song yeah. about Cleveland at some point. Oh, yeah, like my that? town or whatever. Yeah, this, this town is my this town. Is my town. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Then nobody knows that song anywhere else in the world except in Cleveland. Right? I don't know. Is yep. that true? I don't know. Probably, uh, I never heard it before knows? I got here. Honestly, <laughs> I never heard that song before I got here. And look, all I know is that guy's not touring, but he has a regular job in Cleveland. It's like we owe him. Like if I feel like if Drew Carey's career ever goes sideways, there'll be a job for him here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like on the TV or radio somewhere. Like we we owe him. Yeah. We pay our debts in Cleveland. <laughs> Did you say we? You finally what? are coming on board with uh, your well, I live Cleveland here, right? kind of thing? I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I can't afford to live anywhere else. I'm fucked. I'm here. Um, 
but it's going back to the actual topic. Um, yeah, right. Um, there's so many, so many talented bands in Cleveland, and uh, um, you get out there, you you check I, them I, out. I, you're I, you're I, one of those guys that actually checks out the bands. Yeah, man. like bands like Listen, Little Man, <laughs> and uh, the Sonder Bombs. I love and, Listen, uh, Little Man. Listen, Little Man's great. That's another super group in my eyes. Is yeah, he's. A, he's He's Sonder Bombs, the Punch Drunk Tagalongs, they're which really band, yeah. I, I I think they're incredible. And they're yeah. incredible live, and like I don't understand why people aren't paying more attention to them. Yeah, I don't know. And, you know? Is Cleveland still a going concern? Do you know? I don't know. Cause I really like them too. A band called Cleveland. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty damn. Cool. <coughs> Saw them about two years ago, but uh, you know it's hard to keep up if you know who's. Um, what's another band? Another local band? Heavenly Creatures. Oh, like what, they're they're a about, great band. What about uh, something involving a monkey? Yeah, that's yeah. fun. Those guys are crazy. We've played with them a couple times. Right? Yeah, 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 they're yeah. fantastic. Great guys. No, we played with them once. Whatever, man. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> two times. It was two times. It, it was twice. It was twice. Yeah, it was twice. Yeah. Yeah, I got the balls, Alzheimer's, right? <laughs> I don't know. We, it's weird, we, you know. In the small amount of time, we have played quite a few shows with some really good bands. What about Midwest Session, which are no longer because uh, Adam moved to um, yeah Denver. Wait, oh, that's Adam, the lead singer, the the, the boy with the pipes, the, the, the good-looking redhead. Yeah. yeah, he was very handsome. He was a handsome, very guy. handsome. He had some yeah. pipes on him, you know, like very radio-friendly, good pipes. You know, like. Oh, he had a, yeah, a really nice good. sounding voice. He, yeah. I, I would imagine he still does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like his voice. Yeah, I like his yeah. voice too. Mm-hmm. Unless I'm playing. With right. Him. Hey. Uh, hey, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I love those guys. They were really nice to us. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, listen, little man. That's a. Uh, that's one with Jeff. Um, Always yeah. had some interesting guitar lines, and then uh, Alex singing. I mean, um, his the, voice is great. The oh, the, the brave Alex's? bones. Yeah. Zayla. Alex's other project, uh, <laughs> Bird Dog Cats, is great too. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody here? here you know, the it's funny. Uh, the drummer in Bird Dog Cats, Steve and I used to jam with. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he was uh, a fucking phenomenal young man. Um, and my, my brain is failing me. Huh. Dante. His name is Dante. He's a great guy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we, we jammed with him, what, like four years ago, Steve? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Oh, that, that reminds me, um, that Musician's Night on Wednesday nights over at Underneath Dante. Um what is that place called? Coda? It's a cool spot, man, for a nice little... There's some interesting acts that go up there. Yeah, I, I know a bunch of bands that play there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a band called... Uh, I mentioned the Brave Bones earlier. Uh, mm-hmm. Fox. Uh, who else? It's on, like, the tip of my brain. Um, the Boom Shakalakas. Mm. Boom shakalaka. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. But no, we're going to yeah, be. Yeah, they're oh, good. What about who were probably. Well, I asked them, but we played with uh, City of the Dead before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. City of the Dead. Elliot. Very good. It, very, it's his they're, latest project. They're like very ready. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, they, they everything he's done, like they, he did the missing and like they're, they're polished. You know what I mean? Mm. It's good stuff. You know, dude, you gotta throw like another monitor like right there. Yeah. Maybe one there so that we can kind of have an idea what we're doing because I every time I see myself on the camera, I'm looking. I'm like, ah, what am I doing over there? How stupid do I look? We'll figure that out. See, that's why I sit here. I right. have no idea how fucking stupid I look. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I want another monitor just for that. That's like the story of my life. Yeah, I don't want to be doing this in front of a mirror. I certainly do. <laughs> I are, I'm already embarrassed enough. Like I, how, how I don't need to be in the mirror. You, your name should be J Vane. <laughs> this Vane. J Vane. This Vane. <laughs> That's your wrestler name. WWE presents Jason Vane. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Yeah. <laughs> and you come down. You come down, and like the song that it'll be playing is. Uh, uh, you, it's Melissa. I'm the only one. You know. Oh, that's amazing. Like, yeah, and you're like looking no, no, in the no, mirror. No, 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 it'll be a bad cover of that the vinyl song. Yeah, yeah. I touch myself. Okay, yeah, no, it, but yeah, doing, I'll be doing the singing. Yeah, it'll be when I think about me, 
I touch myself. <laughs> We're the thugle bow, me. <laughs> and you'll be in like a golden chicken suit. <laughs> with a crown. Yeah, with Perfect. a rooster crown. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> like a golden rooster. Good <laughs> We're not thugle bow, me. I touch myself. Yeah. Diddly, 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 wow. Plop, plop. <laughs> and then there is a 15 minute bass solo. <laughs> I don't think they would allow yeah, that. I think that would work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You don't want, you don't want to do a, too long of a bass solo, man. Then all the women will just start going crazy. They love no, it. No, that's yeah, true. They, they, totally they can't help them. Yeah, it's just like that part of like Steppenwolf's like magic carpet ride. Yeah, forget it. She's putty in your hands. Yeah. That's it. Putty. Yeah. <laughs> putty. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 been my experience. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. Yeah, it'd be so funny for a guy to try that. Like, dude, I heard this part of the song. It's it's, it's you know you don't even have to say nothing. She just wants you, man. Yeah, <laughs> doors you know, light my fire. Got, that keyboard <laughs> solo <laughs> that goes on for minutes. Fucking Raymond Zarek. Oh Jesus. my god. <laughs> I got engaged to that music. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. That that is like the the culmination of the diddly diddly diddly. You know, like yeah. that's 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 light my fire. That mm -hmm. fucking twenty seven minutes of that garbage. Yep. <laughs> Look, dude, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't get it. I never got. The Makes doors. them moist. Like I never got the doors. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Ew. Like the, that <laughs> word. <laughs> Moist. See, I don't, I don't have a problem with moist. I don't get the doors. I, I think uh, the doors. Okay, well, let's. We're gonna go back to the doors in a now minute. Somebody talk remember about that the word moist. I want to talk about moist though, because I, when I th hear moist, I think delicious chocolate cake. You know, that's what I think. Yeah. You know, I don't Do imagine like a sweaty orifice of sorts. You know what I mean? Yeah. And even so, even if we are talking about a woman's vagina, that still is great. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's it's still, <laughs> right. So, moist it's, it's, is more or less it's a, a great just about word. the way it sounds. I think for moist. me, moist. I don't know, man. I like it. It feels. I don't know. Glorious. I don't have such hangups. No, really? It's weird though. I never knew like I, it was a thing until like maybe I don't know, ten years ago or whatever. And it was like, really, the moist it's, it's is the way. Yeah. yeah. I just sort of live my life. I don't yeah. really worry about moist. No, neither do I. But I'm saying right. I have to hear about it from other people. How right. awful that word it's is. It's one of those words. Like it's it's <laughs> it's one of those words that sort of it's it's like it's moist is like lugubrious and and you know like uh, mellifluous. Lugubrious. You know I mean? like, uh, is that your word, sir? It's, it's, it, lugubrious. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Look that know. one up there, like Vince. What's lugubrious. That? Lugubrious. All right. Um, I want to hear what Jay has to say about the doors, though. I just never got it. I don't know. It just wasn't for me. Yeah? Um, like, one time I got in a fight because <laughs> nice. I, wanted to, I wanted to watch my band play. I uh, was video recording of my band. Um, and instead, this other guy wanted to watch that stupid Doors movie with, uh, what's his name? Val, Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer, yeah. And I was like, really, dude? Because he was, like, trying to fuck 16-year-olds at the time. At yeah. the time when we were 16-year-olds and he was, like, 30. Yeah, I was... Uh, you remember that? I no, I don't. The guy. Yeah, dude. Remember, he was trying to get with Kristen, whose last name I will not use. Okay, good. Yeah. You remember, dude. You remember. I don't know. It's not ringing a bell. Vampire with some Nazi tattoos. Oh, the guy with the ice bullets? Yes. The ice bullets. He 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 claimed that he had a gun that shot ice bullets, <laughs> and 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 really tried to float that one. Okay. You know, like like it like he was serious. <laughs> you know, like who would come up with something so asinine? That guy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I looked anyway, up. Anyway, last time I saw him, he was working in a gas station. So. Last time I saw him, he was working in a pizza place. Yes. I, I so I looked the up. Verdict on the word of lugubrious yeah, is. Yeah. So it says looking or sounding sad and dismal is is what this says right here. Mm. So How do you spell it? See this. Delicious. Oh, that's, that's How do you spell it? Delicious. <laughs> uh, L u g u b r i o u s. Lugubrious. Lugubrious. Looking or sounding sad and dismal. 
So Jay, you like speaking this, of, yeah, well, yeah, that's what I do. It's fine. I don't care. It's how I live my life. So, so basically, you're saying the word moist sounds very sad. It has that similar. No, no, it sounds has that same tonal vocal quality. You know what I mean? It's one of those words that just melancholy and moist. No, 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 not melancholy. No, no, no. Like, moist kind of uses your whole mouth to say it. You know what I mean? Like. It's not like at, there, then, hi. Moist requires like a lot of, like say moist without moving your lips. You can't. You can. <laughs> oist. 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 Nice. You know what I mean? Like it's nice. like a full mouth word. That's why like I. I noist. You know, like it's like, like a word like the Google. Usually is. when I'm uh, with the moist, the mouth is moving. Quite often. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's hey, everybody. A good friend, Vincent, will be at <laughs> Stacy's Laugh Shack on Route 88 all week. <laughs> Don't forget to tip your waitresses. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, so wait. Where were we, man? The doors. Okay, the yeah, doors. 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 I don't know. They were from uh, Illyria. What? <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were from the Bay Area. <laughs> we're trying to talk about more local music. <laughs> All right, well, uh, well, I think that Cleveland has really great blues. has a has a really great blues scene. Uh, Michael Bay does his jam night over there at the uh, Blues Lounge. Blues Ooh. Brothers. What is it called? The Brothers the, Lounge. The Brothers Lounge. The that's brothers right. Lounge. What, what a great about place to say that blues is. Man. I did. Yeah. Yeah. That's a cool spot. Yeah, the Brothers Lounge has a really great menu. Yeah, and uh, and then almost they have a really nice back room that had they have a lot of really great shows at. Mark Baker behind the soundboard back there. He knows well, what he's doing. While we're doing that, I just reminded myself. I really want to. I really want to check out the uh, the, the Winchesters. Uh, how that's going with the new ownership and everything. Right. Uh, I'm really excited. You know what I mean? I gotta hear good things. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, oh yeah, they always got something going on there. Yeah, I'd love to play there sometime. My solo project. Yeah, what's what's that called? Cobra Kai, Cobra Cobra no, something. No, dude. Cobra Cobra, Cobra, Cobra Laser Snake. Cobra and Starship. <laughs> what is it? Cobra Malachi. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's called Cobra Destroyer. <laughs> yeah, I think I think they even have a an open mic night, but it's more of like uh. Like an acoustic yeah, type does. deal. Mm. That's what we're talking because about. Because it's in the it's in the set. front it's in the front area by yeah, the bar. Yeah. I think know? we should do it. They don't do it in set. the they don't do it in the room where the stage is and everything. Where I don't understand awesome. why. Do where you it would be awesome? You want to do a, an acoustic set? Sure. Is it, wouldn't that be awesome? Can we call ourselves? Uh, I forgot. Damn it. No, we can't. The Lafayette, the Lafayette excursion. The Cobra Manhandlers. Cobra, <laughs> cobra, <laughs> cobra Manhands. <laughs> Actually, it's Jay Shame and the Cobra Destroyer. <laughs> What's the name of your band, dude? Cobra Mans. <laughs> oh shit! No, 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 no. You know what? No, my my new new band name is the Cameron Mannheim Experience. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know. Man hands on you. <coughs> I was thinking about starting a punk punk side project called rattlesnake condom <laughs> <laughs> oh shit rattlesnake but, condom yeah. like why Can oh I, yeah dude no no it's just a joke i was just <laughs> yeah. right. no i mean but um like rattlesnake condom where's the humor in that mm -hmm. Because you're like, because I'm so tough. I use rattlesnakes. It's the condom, yeah. <laughs> or is it so long? Yeah, you ever hear that? That Bill Brasky? <laughs> no. Because I'm Bill Brasky. Yeah, Bill Brasky once used a rattlesnake as a condom. Oh, is that right? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so I was missing that part. But yeah, um, there's there's a great <laughs> open mic up at uh, Brothers Lounge mm -hmm. every Wednesday. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it's and and every they single always person, do them on Wednesday, man. Everywhere. Every single person that plays that open mic is like really good too. Right. It's like it's it's like the most amazing open mic you've <laughs> ever been to. You know, it's not like people just going up there and just ad libbing and shit. Right. It's like these people actually like you know took the time to like iron all this stuff out, right. and they're doing it like a professional. 
Which, by the way, is all I do at open mics. No, so I think totally no. The, when we got that dance routine together for that last show, I thought that yeah. was the way. Dance I think that's routine. The I think that's the future. <laughs> dance routine. I think a dance routine, guys. I think a dance routine is the future. I've got everything figured out. Okay. <laughs> Oh, another, listen, listen, man. I'm 40 years old. I'm not dancing. <laughs> oh, listen, another. I almost forgot. Uh, talking about bands and open mics. Another band I really like is uh, the Melodramatics. Uh, the lead singer of that band also has an awesome open mic night. Wait, you're Mondays. not the singer of that band? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, Mella out is, and uh, she's uh, Mella. She uh, she runs the open mic at uh, the social room Monday nights. Yeah. And it's just a terrific open mic. Real, real warm. Right, there's real a mic inclusive. In, open mic at Becky's. Is there? Yeah, there is. Yeah, I, uh, was that Becky's? Yeah, play all these? I, I was actually at their open like a couple weeks ago, maybe I think I was. Uh, yeah, I and then I ended up going to Coda when too, I was yeah. doing open mics. Like, what day is it usually on? It would have had to have been a, a a Tuesday because I only go to Becky's like on Tuesdays or Thursdays because that's I think when he said I said it was like Saturday. I classes. ran into Maxwell's show. I think you said it's like it's it's like yeah. a Friday or a Saturday. Yeah, that's a hot open mic. On a Friday. Yeah. On a Friday, that's Becky's not a hot mic. is Nobody a very. In, no, if the place is jumping. Nobody goes open mics on Fridays. Becky's is an interesting place yeah, because Becky's is always jumping. Yeah, Becky's is strange because so you get Hep C from a stab wound in the parking lot. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, you can get that, but there's groups of lawyers will go in there. It's like college students, bums. Yeah. Um, you know, any like you know, there's, there's a wide variety of people that go yeah. into Becky's. It's really From crazy. All walks of life. Yeah, all it's, walks it's of in, life. It's yeah, in the heart you get of them all. It's right in the heart. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's in the heart of the heart of it all. Yeah, it's in the heart of the heart of the heart of it all. Yeah, yeah I mean, it really is like. Yeah, yeah. It's it's an interesting. See that place. that's like what Public Square is like that too. You know? But uh, yeah. Yeah, right. but like, I, Becky's, I, I, you I walk visit. into like Southern Tier, well, and that's Becky, not going to be. Becky's is right by the hospital, so you're going to get a lot of hospital, a lot of lot of doctors or lawyers or. And there, it's yeah. right on CSU campus too, yeah. college students or yeah. yeah. Right by the hospital. Becky's yeah, there's no hospital over there. So, yeah, that's. Twenty first, it's way the fuck over there. No way, dude. Yeah, no, it's not. No I wouldn't say it's close to the hospital. Yeah, ten streets away, not even. That's not close. Yeah, well, Cleveland's ten streets big. Yeah, like I mean. <laughs> Might yeah, as well dude, be like on you the play, other. You miss oh, it. What are you talking about? <laughs> like I'm amazed at how big the uh, CSU's campus has gotten. Uh, it's nice, I guess. Yeah, it's growing. I mean, I get I get weird stuff from the hospital that that always I always get like crazies that pop up at the job right around oh, six yeah. seven o'clock. I had a lady throw something at me, he and I had it. this dude look at me, say that. Uh, he looked at me, and it was real crazy. He goes, listen, Danny Green don't run this town no more. You tell everybody, <laughs> Melon Monroe runs this town. <laughs> and he had, like, tattooed tears right around his eyes, mm -hmm. and he was wearing a blonde wig. That's and, awesome. and hospital like, pants and, and sandals. Like what kind so of he wig? looked like that he had he just on? been distar discharged. Yeah, he had, he had, like, the hospital socks on. Oh. So he was a guy having an episode, but his whole thing, you tell him, Dana Green don't run this town no more. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe run this town. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe does a white run dude. this town. Marilyn Monroe runs this town. That's the weird thing. I'm not from here. I mean, <laughs> I mean, did the Irishman ever run this he town? He was crazy looking. Well, yeah, at one point, yeah. So that movie, I guess, documents that pretty well. What is it? Kill, Kill the, the Irishman. Irishman. Kill the Irishman. Yeah. Yeah. So Danny Green, yeah, I guess... I don't know. I guess, he, well, I mean, until the Italians like all killed your guys them, right? Problems were, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I always figured your guys' problems were all Italian. Yeah. What do I know? Yeah, no. The, Back the, in the day, you know? No, we have Irish problems. Okay, cool. Yeah. Irish, Irish yeah, people I got an Irish problems. problem right now. He won't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, yeah. So is that what happened? I don't even know the whole story about uh, oh, I, don't, I don't know the whole thing. story about Danny uh, Green. Yeah. All I know is this. This crazy guy walked in to the shop I'm in and just scared the bejesus out of me yeah. for a couple seconds because I was walking, watching his hands to see if they were moving around, you know, making right. sure he didn't have any weapons. You the know? only weapon he had was a trouser snake. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 
and his um, trouser um, snake had two teardrop tattoos on it. Yeah, <laughs> on either side. He, no, he had three teardrops on each side, just tattooed. <laughs> so it was pretty wild. Like, so beard, this guy's wily like killed, beard, killed people. Wily look in his eyes, One for and he had a I blonde wig on. A larger One. man with a blonde wig on, and he said, "You tell him Marilyn Monroe runs this town." Like, what kind of a wig was it? It was like one of those, uh, it was permed on top, and it was flat around the sides, and it curled under his chin. That's awesome. That is the best. I can visualize that. Yeah, <laughs> like, like a real suburban mom uh, wig. Yeah, a from, soccer mom from, wig. From, so the soccer mom wig from the, the mid-90s. Yeah, I got you. With the blonde highlights in it. Sexy. <laughs> and I'm serious, and but the rest of him was like a wreck. Yeah. <laughs> so first off I see this guy And from a distance he goes Hey man You got some free pizza <laughs> And I'm like No I don't man This ain't my show I don't run this show I don't know I don't run this place Yeah, yeah. And then that's when he went And it was Danny Danny Green bit <laughs> Motherfucker we sell pizza And it's not even good pizza Just yeah. fucking the It's fuck like mediocre here. shit pizza Yeah <laughs> And we're happy to take your motherfucking money. He yeah. was looking deep into my eyes, man. Of course he, he was. He was totally eye fucking me. Like right <laughs> coming right up in there and I'm like, oh, holy shit, this guy is gonna fuck you to death. Woohoo. I'm like kind of peeking down, seeing if his hands are moving. He's gonna get one more tear tattoo after this. <laughs> you yeah. know. It's gonna have your name inside of the tear. You tell him Danny Green, there ain't no oh. Danny Green no more. Tell him Mary Monroe was here. <laughs> it was so weird but very funny like a, definitely a Beavis and Butthead moment like I'm looking at this guy and thinking you know Beavis and Butthead could have been like sitting in the right. in the shop and seeing this guy walk up and they'd be like <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> You get a yeah. lot of you get a lot of interesting people down there I'm yeah you do imagine. get a lot of inter interesting people in the shop for sure yeah it's kind of like the Becky's crowd you get all of them right it's, man there's a whole population yep. and you get to know each one of them some of them don't say anything, you know. Yeah. At all, there's a there's a one. Yeah, there's one gentleman. You, you could just see that his fingers are black from cigarettes or whatever else he's fucking doing. Your fingers don't get black from cigarettes, bro. It's from smoking crack. Come on, stop. Um, it. And 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 well, no, and well, yeah, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying. You know, I'm just yeah. trying to. And You're, dirt and whatever. The kind of torches you gotta use burn your fingers. Man. Yeah. So he's just pacing around, looking at looking about like. 70 years old you know Sweet like he's been doing it for years do, 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 do. just well, that's roaming awesome. around downtown yeah it's not I awesome but uh feel my hair. it's the characters you see in the city in downtown life yeah, yeah. Huh? i'm glad we had like a crackhead section of our show get it all some of them are freebasing meth to be fair okay <laughs> some of them are meth heads okay all right <laughs> I know we have to be very careful not to trigger these people. You don't want to trigger the meth heads. Yeah, That's the right. meth heads. They're very, they're, listen. <laughs> meth heads are very underrepresented. It's very specific. To what are you kidding? Doing. What about they're the heroin addicts? addicts. You, well, it doesn't matter if you upset heroin the heroin addicts, addict. They don't care. They're not doing anything. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. Come on, heroin addicts, meth heads, no, they do not care about anything. All they care about is more meth or more heroin. <laughs> you're, so, you're telling me this like I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> That's why they're not... They have no opinion. I've just, never, I've never heard of this you know, <laughs> point of view that you speak of. Uh, but it's all, it's also funny to be like, hey man, what do you think about Trump? Do you hold him? <laughs> <laughs> I don't agree with you at all, James. <laughs> I support my brothers and sisters who are struggling <laughs> with the heartbreaking disease that is drug addiction. Oh yeah, it's bad though. Hey man, I quit drugs. How long you been clean? Like twelve, like two hours. <laughs> Two hours. <laughs> Let's celebrate. Get some drugs. Yeah. <laughs> it's bad. What? You, hey, man. Can I borrow? Can I borrow ten bucks? What do you need it for? Oh well. What do you think I need it for? That's that's the one that gets bad. Hey, can I borrow your well, you already know. You already know, and it's like your friend, and you're just trying to make them not dope sick. It's bad. It's a weird time we live in. TVs are relatively worthless. Mm. What do you mean? They're just they're worthless. They're relatively worthless. So cheap. You know oh yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as the value, of they don't them. have any value. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it's like, like material value. But. Well, no, like resale value. Right. Like used to, you know, like when we were born. So you had a large TV for the time, like. Right. 
like a, I don't know, what, a 20 inch TV, you know what I mean? Like in right. the late 70s. That, you could take that in the hawk it, you know what I mean? For right. like a month's rent. Oh, yeah. You, I think my, my house got robbed. Uh, I had like a 42 inch flat screen when, like, flat screens, it was like new, you know? I'm fairly certain that they only came in and they decided to take everything else but for that TV. Now it's like 42 inch flat screens, like, what, 100. Fifty bucks, yeah, man. Even, yeah, I mean, it's like sale value would be like thirty resale. bucks. Yeah. You get like thirty they bucks for it. Them. They don't yeah. even take them. They Enough won't money take them. to like feed yourself. Like anything yeah. under like anything under like sixty inches, they don't even want it. I mean, yeah, it, that's what she said, right? Yeah, the, jeez. Sixty inches? <laughs> yeah, sixty inch. Were you oh dating God. a fucking ogre? Jesus. <laughs> you know. um, <laughs> and that's 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 sixty inches. I'm seventy-four inches tall. That's enough for the whole tall, community. Bro, like, what is? <laughs> like I'm seventy-four inches tall. It's like they they could cut that up like a birthday cake. Oh God. Wow. <laughs> Guess it's got enough to feed the needy. All right. <laughs> yeah. But well. uh, speaking of uh, penises, the, the needy. Oh. Um, for, uh, I would say about three or four months, like I worked at, uh, St. Malachi's there on 25th in Detroit. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you want to talk about wild characters. Um, there's a lot of people that were in some pretty rough shape Yeah, that would come to the window and uh because i was working the, working in the kitchen and uh you know some of these some of these people were kind of funny like i had a i had this uh russian guy every single day he would come up to the window and he would be like donut <laughs> the, that's what he that's how he would approach me right. not hello not how are you doing today yeah donut and what donut meant is um, anything, anything that was remotely like a donut, anything that could pass as, I don't know, like a pastry or something. And the guy would come and angrily bark donut at me, and I would happily get him whatever he wanted because it would make my day. I mean, I, I, would, I would see all sorts of things. Um, there was this one woman who had, um, I assume, uh, multiple personalities because she was talking to herself and two different voices were coming out of her. Really? Yes. Like demonic? No, not demonic, but it was just a, a, a very noticeably, noticeably different voice. You know, and she was having a whole entire conversation. You know, hey, you know, I mean, but yeah, the, you'd you never know, get bored, I guess. I guess, <laughs> um, but yeah, like, you know, just just saying that. Um, basically, the only reason why I bring this up and anything is just to let people know that there's like another side of Cleveland. There's a lot of people that are homeless and suffering oh, yeah. and. You know, go walk in the Beckys again, man. Yeah, I'm telling you, Beckys. Yeah, you get some strange ones in there, man. It's also weird, like the, uh, the rents are going up in this town, and um, can't really say the same for the median income. No, I don't, uh, no, I predict that there's going to be more people at the window at St. Malachi's in the future. You know, because we're it's kind of what it looks we're like. We're building three hundred thousand dollar condominiums, you know, right alongside Skid Row. Awesome. Well, yeah, we're kind of pushing these people out too. You know, but it's like a the the question. You know, it's like, and who are yeah, these people, by the way? But Who's it, the money? idea is, you don't want to like push these people around. It's you just want to like inc- have everyone kind of like a society live as a society all together. So it's like, hey, let's take these homeless, you know, um, poor, disenfranchised, whatever you want it, um, a mentally, you know, not stable people, and just put them over here you know isn't the idea to just kind of like have be a community you know i think that's what they're trying to do like 
with like gentrification it's like you know you're you're putting uh a, a, that's not what a, they're doing you're, you're putting like a condo right next to a you know a project no, <laughs> you know what i mean that eventually there's that they they sell they buy the project and it also becomes a condo usually right once and there's, there's i mean look fuck. you know if you want to see what happens just look in new york city i gotta go and get back to oh. me you know right. what i mean like right. i can't afford to live in neighborhoods that i wasn't allowed to go to as a as a child right i wasn't like, allowed to think about going you know yeah all right. Well, we're going to have to cut this one short. But I do want to say, though, real quick, uh, I wanted to talk about this uh, this seven song EP that we recorded. Oh, oh yeah. And we're doing. I I uh, actually I played in quite a few bands in my day, and uh, I've had some it's projects some very long that folks. were uh, I've had some projects that were it, intimate for me, and so it's it's good self expression. But I can honestly say, you know, I just kind of play the bass in here, you know, and uh, help with all these other things but uh the songs you guys write i think are great i think these seven songs are actually like i play them for people and they're like that that's like actually good i'm like what do you mean like all the other stuff i did wasn't but it wasn't really radio friendly kind of stuff i was always trying to please myself not other people whereas these songs i think do both he was in cream before clapton right (laughs) but i don't know and that that one song that i was kind of almost against putting on at the last minute is my favorite song so i like that song a lot um i don't know and i like what you did uh, with the keys because he's not just the bass player he he jokes <laughs> he jokes he's the bass player he's they won't he's let me engineer. do bass solos he's uh because we don't allow him to do bass solos we let him well we just don't want to get bombarded by the ladies yeah <laughs> since we don't let him do bass solos we actually let him record and produce our sound which you know, it actually affects it a lot more than he says it does. It, so, you know. I had somebody, they, uh, they've been to a, a few of our shows and they've heard us. And they were like, um, I played I played these songs. And she's like, so why, why don't you guys sound like that live? <laughs> I was like, well, I don't know how to take that. Because I think it does sound like that live, but I'm listening from my own point of view. I don't hear what the PA sounds like out there. You well, know? you know, I mean, until you start being your own sound guy, that's right. hard. Yeah. We don't have that kind of money. Right, know? right. No, and everything's just more even when you mix something. You know, it, it's like everything's on live. It's just everything's mixed differently, you know. Well, it, I mean, we should maybe sample sample the keys we used on some of this. Yeah. Bring them with us. Well, that was another thing, too. I told her. I was like, well, I put keyboard lines on, like, most of the... There's, like, keyboards going on a lot of that stuff. You, it's like you really have to listen to it. But it was just to fill in mm-hmm. fill in the space, you know? Yeah, we could loop all that stuff live, yeah. though. I mean, because, you know, we have the benefit of having, like, a really steady guitarist. Dude. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Steady drummer. And a bass player that shows up sometimes. You have a bass player that shows yeah, up sometimes, I, right? Have you heard? I have a job. So I everybody in the band has a job. Well, well <laughs> almost everyone. Almost everyone in the band has a job. <laughs> yes, as he's all right. Play currently, for free. Got, cur- yes, yeah. yes, that's correct. Currently, <laughs> so I don't know. Is that all you guys want to say about that that EP? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, you I'm guys, excited. oh, because we're not in the band. This guy, this fucking guy. You know, listen, if you play bass and have hair, hit me up at jshame at jshame.com. It would help if you're female, too, right? You need, female, you need the female bass player. That is sexist, sir. I'm insulted. I would never say that. Ladies, uh, so I'm woke, all right? Yeah, he's woke, all right. Uh, but speaking of jobs, uh, we, we, the reason why we have to cut this short is because Jim has to go get, yeah, be do employed. his employee thing. Sexy. Yeah. Yeah. He is currently the only one working today. Yeah. Yeah, I took off. <laughs> you took off. For what reason? Come over here. And- yeah. Well, I didn't get enough sleep. Like, oh, dude, because the police arrested somebody in my, my building yesterday. Really? What happened? I don't fuck. I don't know. Bang, 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 bang. What are the way? Fucking... <laughs> Get out of my bed, go to the, the living room yeah. to sort of lessen the chance that I'll get shot. Um, I'm just sitting there listening to the cops trying to get this guy out of the crawl space above my door. Yeah. It was creepy, bro. Yeah? Oh, I don't know creepy. what happened. It's like a movie. I got to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. Fuck All right. that shit. All right. Well, we, we got a short one for you tonight. That's what right she on. said to Vincent. <laughs> bow, Is that why bow. Said? No. Um, reason? No. What? How many reasons are there why I'm single? I don't know, 744,328 and counting? <laughs> yeah, pie. <laughs> Alrighty. Yes. Okay, so Sub CLE, uh, yeah, Battle for West Park EP coming soon. And, um, and uh, we'll go, downtown, go downtown and get some pizza. You should. I'm going to put on my own record where I do all the, all the music, just vocal sound effects. I'm going to call it... Um, Sheppeltura, it's gonna be great. She Sh- Sheppel, Sheppeltura, yes. Okay. Keep your keep your ears open, America. <laughs> All right. Goodbye.